Next we have the sausage quick mix. It's a basic sausage quick mix and it's used to make a variety of products, that you, menu items that you would make with sausage. I say basic because it doesn't have a breakfast or an Italian or any specific flavor profile. It's got the basic uh, sausage profile and to that you add the Italian or make it a breakfast sausage or whatever. So here we have a southwestern version of that where I actually took the, the uh, sausage mix and added water and oil, mixed it up, and then I uh, crisp it up uh, on a hot, uh, hot saute pan and then mixed that with beans and cilantro. It's a saute of uh, fresh vegetables and uh, red peppers and uh, cumin and then I, and black beans. And this is another form of an upscale bean dish versus just using beans. Adding these proteins to the beans adds an additional uh, perceived value, if you will, as well as flavor and texture. So it makes the customer feel like they're getting more for the money when you give them a vegetarian entree serving it in an extended version such as this. Now we're going to go to how well, easy it is to mix it. You just add the water. First of all, here's the mix. I uh, just want you to see what it looks like. It's just textured uh, protein and uh, gelling agents and seasoning. So this is all seasoned and pretty much ready to go by adding just the water and the oil. And notice as it mixes how liquidy it is. It will firm up uh, and become as firm as uh, putty as it sits. It just takes on a real firm texture, as you will see in a minute. I just want to make sure it's fully rehydrated and there are no lumps in it. You can do this in a mixer if you want. You don't really have to. This is uh, an easier way. I would use a spoon or not a whip. And that's it. Just needs to uh, take in the oil. And you don't have to add that if you don't want to. But uh, it adds a lubricity to it. You can get that through the cooking technique, if you will. And next, we're going to go to making the patties with it. Now this is the same method we use for making the burgers, only I'm using a smaller uh, scoop, making like a one ounce, one and a half ounce patty. Take a, a little oil around it, a little on it. Put a little on my spatula here, so when I press it down it doesn't stick. How easy it is. Drop it down, let it go, I'll push these to the back here. These are a few that have been cooking for a while. And let you brown. Notice how well they hold together. And if you want, you can always add more oil to them. Now these have been grilled rather high. And I, if you want to put a little sheen to them, add a little more oil, you can just turn them up like that and then let them set, and then all of a sudden you have sausage patties. Real easy way to make it. You can do them on your griddle as you're making your um, pancakes. And you just take a little water to cook, but you notice how well they hold together. And we'll go from here to the pizza. Now here is another application, very low food cost, very popular. One pound of mix making a pizza topping will yield four pounds of pizza topping. I used four ounces of that sausage quick mix on this particular pizza, and I used the Italian seasoning with it to give it more of an Italian flavor with the olive oil and the garlic and everything. The catch is one ounce of dry mix made this one uh, pizza. So your food cost in this is very low. But it's an Italian sausage pizza, and the student sees that, and it's vegan, it's natural. It's a real uh, easy and low food cost way to enhance and embellish your vegetarian menus with pizzas. And again, there are a lot of recipe applications for all of these products, uh, and you will receive those when you request product samples or request uh, uh, an order.